Hey there guys, my name is Marquez and in this video I'm going to teach you how you can easily use the timeline widget for monday.com, uh, what you can learn with it and how you can use it for your projects. So the first thing that we're going to do when we are in the project planning, I'm just going to click plus here and you can add a view. I already got a timeline here, so let's say I'm going to add a complete new board. And I'm going to show you what we can do here and how we can use the timeline. So I would click here and then I would just click here apps or more views and then I would just write here search timeline and open in board. Here uh, I can simply click here add a widget but what we can find here you can make bigger your timeline I'm going to zoom out a little bit you can make it smaller that's the first thing then right here you can add a new item. You can like see and today is 3rd of August. So you see the blue line always indicates what's the date for the day. I can add a new item. So let's say this is going to be what I have to do. Let's say like this person is me status. It's going to be working on it and date. Let's say this is going to be seven. then create item and voila look at this right now I can see that uh, this is my name and what I have to do I created the item really easy really simple if I'm going to have like more people here I would find it here I can simply add uh, uh, like a widget here so directly in the timeline directly on the timeline I can add another widget then I can also add a battery I can also add a Gantt or find a new apps so that's what you can do and that's how you can use it now of course you can add a numbers see so this is how you can use it now what I can do also is to collapse all groups or I can collapse the menu here or like on the left side then I can show out all items in the best zoom when you go on the top right then you can choose just for today so let's say I'm here I click today it's going to automatically get me for today then you have also days and you can change between weeks months quarters years so let's say I'm going to choose months and this is all in August so let's say I'm going to add a new item and the item is going to be task I need to done and here I'm going to choose a person me status working on it or stuck and date it's going to be September 8th look at this in that moment straight away I'm going to see a task in my timeline so that's how we can do it now I can have again quarters even or years or then again back to that I'm going for days and then I'm going for today and it's going to automatically line me where I need to go you can also always zoom in zoom out so you don't have to use days you can have zoom in zoom out and use that too you can export it to Excel or you can go to more options next to the export to Excel and what we can find here we can go on full screen so let's say that you don't want to work on like the small one we can go three dots full screen then you can go again three dots here and rename it the timeline let's say four tasks then what you can do is also you can duplicate it or delete it now we have also an option to uh, find the settings here and you're gonna have to choose timeline columns if you can have like multiple columns here you can find it here you can group by by board by person see so in your settings but you need to have like zoom out here so when you have zoom in here uh, you can group you by by really easy just new board or status 
So let's say I, I just want to see on my timeline all the working on it. Or I want to find all this like state stuck here. And I would find it right here. Or I can go by group. Or by none. Or by person. Then you have view settings here that you can easily show group summary, today, indication. You can, like, let's say you can disable weekends. You can disable colors, legends. And you can also set the work days if you want to right here. Color by. And this is again, like, uh, based on colors. Or you can choose groups. So you can have the uh, new group groups here. All groups, top group, group title. That's all what you can do and how you can operate with it. And uh, this is where are the important settings. So settings definitely and the group by is a really important thing that you can use. Now when you go further, you can go also display, display type timeline. And look at this, you can change the display type that you can have split, uh, this is also effective, can be for you split mode with timeline combination. And you can also on the left side filter it, or if you're gonna have like multiple person here, you can also choose it right here. So advanced filters, like where person is Mark Kamenitsky, I'm going to find it right here. And everything, like look at this guys, even for my main workspace, I can see it's changed. So clear all, and I can see all items unassigned that needs to be done. But if I'm going to have like only myself, I can easily filter it. And this is why it's really effective. So if you can have any questions, guys, ask me down in comments. I'll be really happy to help you. This is how you can use the timeline for monday.com. I hope I provide you some kind of guidance what you can do with it, what you can achieve with it. So that's pretty much it. Thank you very much, guys, for watching and have a great day and goodbye. I'm just going to check. Like what apps are good to use. Hmm, interesting. So thank you very much guys for watching and have a great day and goodbye. See ya.